everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Glitzy Jam or Stephanie. How is everybody doing today? I hope all are well. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do an eyeshadow, not tutorial, but I'm going to do an eyeshadow look using this here called the Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics. I've been, I did one eye look with this. It's a, it's, I actually got this in one of my BoxyCharm um, pop-ups or add-ons. It looks like a cute little book. You can, and it's also good to like place it on a shelf once I start to cook, you know, decorate, you know, my little working area, put some shelves, go ahead and put this in the background as a good, you know, like shelf piece. So I'm going to go ahead and be doing a look using this eyeshadow palette here. But before I do that, I want to let you know that LMC's in the house. <laughs> Say hello, LMC. Hello. Yeah, she came to visit me today, so she's going to keep me company, which is great. She's going to spend the night, and we're going to have a girl's night in, and, you know, <laughs> going to have fun. If you saw my Instagram post, I had a good day today. I'm having a good time. Y'all like my little cat ears? Yeah. I got them for two eighty eight at Walmart. I went to Walmart yesterday because I had to get me some some shirts. I got I had to get me something. Also, I got this necklace, the butterfly. It comes with the double. This and the butterfly. For two eighty eight, two dollars eighty eight cents. Can you believe that? It's nice. I like. And the shirt was only three bucks. Yeah. So, oh, also wanted to mention the manicure of the day. I already. Um, I had this manicure on a previous video. Um. Bang day. I'm sorry. No. Um, <clears throat> not a previous video. Um, I I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna use this manicure on a set on a video after this video. Um. So yeah, I did two videos in one. So you won't be seeing. Uh, you're gonna be seeing this manicure in another in another video. So um, so yeah, we I did I did two videos in one day. So <laughs> it's the green colored green color with the with the nail accent here let me show you guys okay here's the nail polish and here's the accent with the holographic glitter on it sparkling glitter and it's these right here this I got at Walgreens for a dollar dollar fifty two bucks it's called the sinful shine and it's this shade here and the shade is called Amazonian you can see that I'm not sure you can see it from here but this is a, a holographic glitter paint it has that long bristle <clears throat> you know um, art long bristle art like that you see brush it's kind of long so I use that to paint my accent nail is by finger paints it's in the shade disco fever Disco Fever. So that's the shade name. I put that on my accent nail here. If you can see that. I think you can see that accent nail. I'm sorry, my jams. Um, my dog barks. Um, he just barks whenever he hears something outside. There's really nobody at the door, and he just hears a lot of stuff outside. He has he has good hearing, so that's the reason why he. He just starts barking like that, but it could be people walking by, or he can hear a truck pass by, and, and he he'll start barking away. So, so anyways, moving forward, let's go ahead and start with the crease area. And I'm gonna go ahead and use. I have I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done any kind of like eyeshadow videos in a while. So, so this is I feel like this is new to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a crease brush, which I'm gonna use this brush here. Uh, it's like a medium brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade here it's like a bare shade bare nude shade and it's called Nottingham because this this uh, book is a fairy tale book of Robin Hood Robin Hood fairy tale book so it's gonna give you names of the actual storyline so this is Nottingham. Put that all in the crease. Oh, 
hope everybody's day went well. I know I had a good day. Like I said, I'm happy having LMC joining me here today, keeping me company. Yeah. You know what? I didn't put any primer on, but that's okay. It's supposed to be okay. I just want to show you this look that I created uh, with this with this this actual story time book. Sorry, my camera keeps going in and out. Here it is. So I wanted to show you just an eye look that I that I can create with this and see how long it wears. You know, I'm not doing a wear test on it or anything. I just wanted to show you an eye look created with this eyeshadow palette. If you have it, let me know down down in the comment section. Let me know if you have this eyeshadow palette or not. If you received it before in one of your BoxyCharm uh, add-ons or one of your BoxyCharm boxes, I, I would really like to know. Okay, so once I accomplish the color that I wanted, you know, for my crease, I go ahead and go in with this shade here called Quiver. This yellow mustard shade, Quiver. I'll go ahead and do the, that all in the crease as well. Beautiful color. Love the pigment, the pigmentation on it. It's coming on pretty good on my lids. Does have fallout, but not that much. Now the next uh, brush I'm gonna go ahead and use is the smaller brush here. I'm going to use the shade Forest, just like a brown, like a black or dark brown shade here. Put this all out in the outer crease. Kind of smoke it out a little. I just wanna get a little smoky effect. I love this formula because it kind of smooths out the lines. It makes my crease lines look minimal, like I don't have any crease lines on my lids. So I love this formula. It makes it makes my eyelids look smooth, smoother than what they are. So I look at that shade quiver. There you have it. It's looking a little better now, huh? Looking a little good. Looking better. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use this green shade as well. Put a little bit in the crease using the smaller brush as well. Um, don't want to have too much of it in my in my crease, but I will use that shade. It's called Merry Men. So I will use that in the crease just a little bit, just to give me a little bit of color um, in my crease area. So I'm going to use that for the crease. Just a little bit. And I want it to be a little bit closer towards the front as well, like towards the inner corner. And that's why I use this little smaller brush because the smaller brush is more detailed than a thicker brush. I think a thicker brush will kind of just, will kind of overtake the whole eyelid and I don't want to do that. I just want to give it some detail in the center. I'm sorry, you guys, if I sound a little congested, it's because I am having drainage down my nose, down my, my nasal cavities, <laughs> having drainage. So sorry if I, if, if I sound nasally or if I sound congested, it's that. So, well, with, for no, um, for no primer, no eyeshadow primer, this formula is coming on pretty good. It is. I really like that. Mm -hmm. You like that? I like that too. Yes. Looking really good. I like that. Nice. Yes. I agree. I agree with that. Looks really nice. Now, now I'm going to go back in with some yellow. 
So this time I will use the bigger brush here for the yellow. Um, here we go. We're going to go ahead and use yellow. I'm going to go back in with the shave, shave, the shade quiver and just put some of that yellow back in the crease. Not bad, not bad at all. They don't sell these palettes anymore on a boxy charm. So if you want to get yourself one, I think you might have to look for it on eBay or I think there's a site you can go on and look for this for this tip I mean these story time uh, eyeshadow palettes. This is not the only one I have. I have more than one. I have a different storybook. One is, uh, I think, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, and this one's Robin Hood. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and use the lid shade. Um, first on the outer corner, I'm gonna fill it in with uh with some uh. I want to know if I should put some green or some brown. I think I'm going to go ahead and use some more of this nude shade on the outer corner. Just a little bit. Just a little bit right there in the outer corner. Use some of that nude shade. Because I really want to get, I really want to put green to match my nail polish on the lid. Maybe put some, uh, maybe put that some more of this forest shade which is this dark brown shade to give it some dimension on the outside just a little bit for right now just like barely tapping just like you're barely touching it okay so now I'm going to go in with I'm going to use like a base brush. I'm going to use this one here. This is actually a, I'm not sure if this is a base brush, but it looks like this, kind of rounded and flat. I'm going to use this shade Robin Hood, which is like a shimmer, almost a shade of my nail polish color here on my lid. I'm going to put it on my lid here. I'm going to start on my outer corner first and just kind of pat that on there and just, I want to see how that looks. If I feel like I'm gonna get a good pick up, a good um, pigmentation, a good combination of color, then I'll keep moving in it, moving it in further in towards the center. I'll work, I'll work it in, in like work it in towards the center and stuff. So I love this shade though. It is, it is that green emerald green shade wow it's beautiful it's a beautiful shade i'm liking that just don't know there it goes I'm putting it all over the lid now. I was just I was just testing the waters first. That's that's the reason why I did it on the outer corner, but it came out good. Came out good on the outer corner. I love that shimmer. She looks wonderful. Oh wow, yes. So 
So there we have a smoky green eye. Wow, I like that. I do like that smoky green eye. Yeah, I'm gonna fill it in some more on the lid. Okay. Wow, looks good. It's really good actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, little small brush here, detail brush to do like the inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use Made Marion, which is like a gold shimmer shade. I'm gonna put that for the inner corner. Wow, it has a lot of pigment. A lot of kick up. In the pan, there's a lot of kick up in the pan, but I'm all, I'm all right with kick up. Probably smooth it out on the bottom lash line as well, but not all the way to the bottom lash line, just so. Uh, just like in the outer, in the inner part of the lash. But I'm ultimately going to go for it with the, with the shade Forest, which is a little darker color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Forest, which is this darker brown. I'm going to do that all under the eye. Okay, I'm going to go in and use um, some green, do the shade um, Merriman again, the matte green, not the shimmer green, but the matte green at the bottom. Now that one I'm going to go all the way across with that shade at the bottom of my lash line, just all the way across. Now it looks smoky. Got that smoky eye going on. Wow. I do look like a bad cat. Wow. <laughs> so that's how it's looking now. It's a it's dramatic. It's a dramatic look. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's a dramatic look. So I'm gonna come off camera. And let's see if there's any finishing touches I need to do, like put more yellow, like at the top. No, I think it looks good. I think it's good enough. That's enough yellow. So, yeah. Just sometimes I feel like my eyes don't look even. So, like I was saying before my video cut off, it's so rude. Yeah, sometimes I feel like, you know, I feel like because my eyes aren't 
same shape or same. Um, I kind of feel like maybe I might have put more on one one end, one side of my eye than the other. But um, it's just it, it's just my brain. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. That's just the way I see it. But I'll come off camera, finish the rest of my look, and I'll come right back on. Okay? I'll be right back. Well, I'm back, my gems. I got, I did my eyebrows. The brows are filled. My eyeshadow is done. I got my little falsies on. Little, hold the little right. They're too, they're glamorous, glamorous falsies. And uh, that's it. Uh, I got the lipstick on, which is one of my favorite lipsticks, which is the, which is this one here from Bite Beauty. It's in the shade Maple. To you guys, there it is. It's a little bite sized one. Oh, when you can bite a little bite size, it tastes good. It tastes like um, tastes good. It smells good on your lips when you put it on. It smells like um, I mean, um, it tastes and it smells like um, uh, key lime pie. You have to try it on, you have to put it on for you to find out how it actually tastes like because I let my sister LMC smell it and she says it smells like like peppermint but it smells like key lime pie <laughs> so this is the overall look I hope you guys enjoyed this and this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and subscribe so don't forget to subscribe my gems and stay subscribed and by and by the way by me saying stay subscribed I have a giveaway going on right now and put the video up here so you can watch it it's over by the 23rd so if you have a chance to still get in on it go ahead and get on it subscribe you have to be subscribed to my channel to enter on the giveaway you have to be a US resident as well so I'll see you then love you my gems bye